I am Dr. Gagan Gautam. I am the Vice Chairman of Euro Oncology and Robotic Surgery at Medanta Gurugram. Bladder cancer is a growth of an tumor or an any abnormal growth of tissue within the urinary bladder of an individual. And usually, uh, people who suffer from bladder cancer first have some bleeding in the urine, which, on further investigation, turns out to be due to a growth or a tumor in the bladder. One must make sure that in case someone develops a bleeding in urine, it should be properly investigated. Now, there are a number of different causes and potential reasons why 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 somebody can have a bleeding. One of the common causes is infections or stones or some other abnormality in the bladder or anywhere in the urinary system. But uh, this has to be properly explored and there are certain investigations available which enable you to find out whether that bleeding is due to the tumor or not. The most common cause for bladder cancer, urinary bladder cancer is smoking or consumption of tobacco products. And people are often surprised by, by this truth. A lot of people feel that those people who smoke are at a risk for mouth cancer or any cancer of the lungs or of the respiratory system. But actually, urinary bladder cancer is also equally associated with the history of smoking. And the reason for that is that people who smoke, uh, when the smoke goes into the lungs, it gets absorbed in the bloodstream. And when kidneys filter out those toxic products, from the smoke and put them in urine, the urine is stored inside the bladder and that irritates the inner lining of the bladder and causes uh, growth of the tumor cells and results in bladder cancer. So smoking is probably one of the most important preventable causes of a bladder cancer that we come across. Typically when a patient goes to a doctor with a history of bleeding in the urine, the doctor will ask for certain tests which will include some urine tests and also uh, may advise investigations such as ultrasound or CT scan to look at the possible causes of bleeding. Uh, if there is a suspicion of a tumor in the bladder, the doctor may also advise a test called cystoscopy, which wherein one goes in and looks at uh, the inner lining of the bladder through the normal urinary passage using a specialized instrument, uh, which has an, a camera attached to the end of it. Bladder cancer, like any other cancer, if detected in proper time, can result in a complete cure. However, this type of cancer is actually quite notorious in terms of coming back after an initial treatment. So a regular follow-up with your doctor, with the urologist, to look into the, uh, the, the possibility of the tumor coming back and taking appropriate steps is extremely important. Uh, apart from the fact that we can, through modern endoscopic techniques, through specialized instrumentation, uh, we can go in and uh, sample or remove the tumor completely. There are also other techniques available in case the bladder cancer is found to be more advanced. Surgery is not the only option in all the situations. There are options involving the use of chemotherapeutic medications depending on the stage of the bladder cancer. Uh, there are also options of radiation therapy. And for each person, the treatment needs to be individualized based on his or her own specific uh, needs, requirements, and the stage and the type of bladder cancer that he or she has so that proper treatment and follow-up can be given. Uh, it is very important that you meet your urologist or uro-oncologist or medical or radiation oncologist to get the full information about treatment of bladder cancer so that the best possible treatment can be given in case such a problem is detected in you or any of your family members.